This tribute to the late Sir Jeffrey Johnstone was brought to you by Colwell Banker Lightborn Realty, Cole Insurance Agents and Brokers Limited, Bahamas Waste Limited, Graham Thompson & Co., Kelso Medical Laboratory, Higgs & Johnson, Goodnight Pools of Nassau Limited, The Dalbinas Agency Limited, NUA Insurance Agents and Brokers, Calendars & Co., Nassau Paper Co. Limited, we're more than just paper and the free national movement. Well, I've known Sir Geoffrey all of my life um, because uh, our families knew each other. Um, I attended the church that Sir Geoffrey um, attended. So from a very young age, the first memory I have of him is at clubs or, or at, the, at St. Andrew's Kirk um, in attendance. He'd be there every Sunday. Um, so I knew him from day one, as it were. Uh, I joined Higgs and Johnson in 1974. Um, at that time, Sir Geoffrey was the senior and managing partner, um, and the Honorable Godfrey Higgs only came in to the firm uh, possibly once a week. So that from that day forward, I was w at Higgs and Johnson uh, with Geoffrey as senior and managing partner. Sir Geoffrey was the finest lawyer that I have come across. Um, Sir Geoffrey was a mentor to me and a mentor to all of those in Higgs and Johnson that grew up under him. Uh, when I joined Higgs and Johnson, there were only six lawyers. Um, Sir Geoffrey, uh, I, I came from England as qualified in the law and thought I knew everything. It only took me a short period with Sir Geoffrey to realize that I had only qualified to start learning the law. Sir Geoffrey was a, a lawyer's lawyer, but also the people's lawyer. He loved the law. He, he, he was great at writing. His Fantastic, he had fantastic skills, very articulate when it came to putting down uh, anything in writing. He had a particular skill at that. Um, so Jeffrey is not only recognized, I think, in the Bahamas as one of the finest lawyers, um, but He's recognized, I think, around the world as one of the leading, interna internationally as one of the leading trust lawyers. There are, uh, he practiced generally in the commercial area, but his expertise in trust law was recognized by the greatest uh, trust lawyers in England, in the United States. And so, Sir so Geoffrey, uh, Sir Geoffrey was a great lawyer. The law firm as it is today reflects the principles and core values of Geoffrey Johnstone. Um, as I said, when I joined the firm, uh, there were only six lawyers in it in 1974. It was a white law firm. Uh, it has developed into a law firm of almost 50 lawyers. Um, so Jeffrey's values are the core values by which the firm works nowadays. Um, it was his great integrity um, that remains the core value of the firm. So that he built it up from a firm of, of probably under 20 people, including the six lawyers, to what it is today. 
um, he's, he changed it from being a law firm of purely white lawyers into being a law firm of, that, that reflects our community. Um, he, he instituted so many things that were visionary, really, in, in relation to the law in our country. He started, for instance, um, he started what we call class, um, so that all the lawyers would get together on a Friday morning at 8 o'clock, and anybody who had a problem that had not, they could not resolve by themselves during the week would bring the problem to the full class of lawyers, so that every week clients got the benefit of many heads thinking about the problem and the input of all of the lawyers. And sometimes somebody whose practices in litigation might have some, some input into a problem that another transactional lawyer might not. I would say that Sir Geoffrey made a profound contribution to the development of law, um, particularly from a private wealth aspect. He, uh, he was a leading lawyer internationally, as I've said, in, in the area of private wealth and particularly trusts. And that, um, th that's the genesis of having an international financial uh, legal services industry continue to bloom. So I think he was pivotal um, and there at the right time to ensure that our financial services industry um, had the right kind of professionals there to allow us to continue that industry uh, until today. I think he was uh, not only um, the lawyer's lawyer in that sense, but he was president of the Bar Association, and he took a very, very active role um, uh, in the affairs of the Bar Association in those days. Um, so that Sir Geoffrey was, was uh, just so much in love with the, the law and the legal profession, and that's where he really spent most of his time. He would be in the firm every morning before seven and would leave after six. And he never ever expected of any of us anything that he wouldn't do himself. I saw more of Sir Geoffrey as a lawyer than as a politician. I knew of his history. I knew that he continued to um, be in politics. He was right there with the FNM going forward, but not in the front lines. And what is amazing is his humility in that I don't think Sir Geoffrey ever expected praise or for what he's done for the country and for Higgs and Johnson. Um, I think it's largely because of his, his very Christian principles. He has the humility, he would say that God provided those things to enable him to do that. But I think we all owe him uh, a debt of gratitude um, for what he's done. Um, and you know, he was always conscious, not only as a lawyer for clients, but as a leader in our law firm. He, was, he always had the best interests of every employee at heart and you know the things that Sir Geoffrey did he was he was very conscious of the fact that by growing the law firm he provided more mouths that could be fed he provided he was providing more jobs for people many of whom were the main breadwinners in the family so he was extremely conscious and he set out to um, to develop mission statements where we would, as a, it, it wasn't only what the mission was to our clients or to the legal profession, but it was what it was to ourselves 
and our employees. And, and he, he dealt with that specifically. He, he wanted to know that um, he was uh, doing his best to help his fellow man. I think he did a great job in that, and he's left us with that legacy and uh, in very, very difficult sh shoes to fill. Mr. Philip C. Dunkley, the senior partner in Higgs & Johnson, he is the chair of Insolvency and Restructuring Practice Group in the firm, and uh, he has been specializing in complex uh, commercial, civil, and chancery litigation for many years. Philip C. Dunkley. This tribute to the late Sir Jeffrey Johnstone was brought to you by Call Bell Banker Lightborn Realty, Call Insurance Agents and Brokers Limited, Bahamas Waste Limited, Graham Thompson & Co., Kelso Medical Laboratory, Higgs & Johnson, Goodnight Pools of Nassau Limited, The Dalbinas Agency Limited, NUA Insurance Agents and Brokers, Calendars & Co., Nassau Paper Co. Limited, we're more than just paper and the free national movement.